In this video, I'll show you a quick and easy way to make a gift bag using fabric for all your bottled gifts. Now you will need a piece of fabric that measures six inches longer than the height of your bottle and two inches wider than the circumference of your bottle. So you will measure the height of your bottle, add six inches to that measurement, and then measure the circumference of your bottle and add at least two inches to that. Then for the bottom of the bag, we're gonna need a piece of round fabric. So what we'll do, quick, simple easiest way to do this take your bottle and put it on the fabric and use a piece of chalk to go around the bottle join a circle around the bottle and make sure that you are about half an inch from the edge of the bottle to the edge of the fabric that you're cutting the circle okay so Next, what we're going to do, actually, I'm using two pieces of fabric samples. I love working with fabric samples. They're great for all different home accessories and little craft projects that you do. So I have stitched two pieces of fabric samples together. And if you stitch fabric together, you're going to have to make sure that you seam your seams to get those seams flat they're easier to work with and the look is more polished when you're done and for the hem to finish off the top of the bag we're gonna do a double fold so we fold over and then we fold the fabric again now when you have done that you're gonna steam the fold the double fold you're gonna steam it in place and after you have steamed it in place, you're going to take it to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch the double hem in place. Okay, so now we have stitched our hem in place. The next thing we're going to do is fold the fabric back on itself folding it into half and make sure when you fold you have the right side on the inside and the wrong side on the outside okay so then we're gonna put the edges of the piece of fabric together making sure that they're lined up nicely and then we're gonna stitch along the side to seam the fabric together to create the back and it's better if you start stitching from the top of the bag towards the bottom of the bag make sure you end off your stitch nicely so it doesn't come undone at the end of your project. Also, make sure when you're going over that seam, if you have joined two pieces of fabric, make sure that your seams are open when you're stitching. There we go. Now we have created a nearly finished bag. Here we have stitched the fabric together so now we don't have any opening. So what we're gonna do next is put the round piece at the bottom. Now you're gonna make sure that you have the fabric, you still have the right side on the inside, the wrong side outside. You're gonna take the piece that you're gonna put on the bottom, the round piece, and you're gonna make sure that your right side of this piece is on the inside you're gonna line it up at the edge of the tube that you have stitched to make the bag and you're gonna stitch now as you stitch you're gonna want to turn the fabric
after you're finished, after you're finished, stitch in the circle onto the bottom of the bag. Then you can trim away all the excess thread if you have any excess thread. And then we are ready to some more thread here. Get that off. And then we'll be ready to flip the bag inside out. So you just push your hand in and get hold of the bottom of the bag and just pull it back out like this. And there we have it. We've made ourselves a little bag for our bottled gift and you can just sip, slip your bottle in a great way to finish off or to close off the top of your bag with your bottled gift is to get a piece of ribbon and create much like a necktie now you're going to put the fold the ribbon with the back piece being shorter than the front piece just about how when you fold it it's the back piece is just a little less than halfway down the front piece you're going to pinch the ribbon together and the front piece the long piece you're going to loop backwards over come back towards the front hold on to it then you're going to take it back again and push it through the loop and you're gonna push it through this loop that you created when you looped it over you're gonna pull it pull it pull it until it tightens much like a necktie that's it okay I think I can show you one more time how to do that this is what you do you fold your ribbon so that the piece at the back is just a little less than halfway down the piece of the at the front you're gonna hold on to the ribbon about halfway down here and then this piece you're gonna take and you're gonna loop back you're gonna pass it over to the front then you're gonna hold on to that piece here to hold everything in place then you're going to take this you're going to go back and go through the original loop that you created when you put the ribbon over your fingers and then push it through the loop that you created when you loop the longer piece of ribbon back and then you're going to pull it through and tighten there we go and that is how we create this little necktie to finish off the bottle now you can open it a little wider if you want your necktie to be longer you could use a longer piece of ribbon and then you basically take this and put it over the top of your bag and the back piece the piece the little piece of ribbon at the back here you pull on it to basically to tighten the necktie on the bag as I said it's just like tying uh, a necktie and there you have it a nicely wrapped nicely finished off bag with a wine for a gift the person who gets this must feel very special indeed make somebody feel special this Christmas and try to do this project